All right, I have here a 2012 Kia Optima Hybrid. I think it doesn't start at all. So the battery was stone dead, so I got my maintainer on it with my generator. Um, so now the battery turns on. I'm about to do a scan. Let's do a full scan on this. All right, pulled it up. Let's see if we got any codes. They were saying there's some sort of code and there's a TSB for, I don't know, I, he didn't have the code. So I couldn't look it up myself. So with the plug, it was a blown fuse, but he checked and the fuse was good inside the quick disconnect. All right, this is done, let's make a report. Okay, so we have faults in the active hydraulic booster. So that stands for ECM is no fault, TCM no fault, ABS has faults, airbag, and weight classification. Okay, that probably just needs to be reset. Steering angle sensor can time out. Battery voltage low, can bus off. It's all maybe ABS, it's all history. So I'm not going to worry about that. The TVMS has codes, I don't care about that. Okay, right here. In airbag deployment signal circuit high in the hybrid electric battery system. Would that stop it from starting, I would assume. All right, so let me just look that code up before. Let me see what happens. Does it actually start? Wait, it does start, and it says ready. Okay, with the engine lights on. It's definitely running. Okay, so I have to speak to the shop, because I'm not, I thought they said it doesn't start. history code right now we have the engine light on so let me do another scan does this thing work yeah it works Oh, hybrid system warning, safely stop and do not drive. Okay, fine, so the hybrid system's not working. Okay, but the engine's working. All right. Check charging system. The battery light's on. Alright, the engine is running. And I have 12.63 volts. Let's disconnect my thing. And it's dropping down to 11. So let's put this back on. Alright, so it's definitely not charging. Alright. Okay, we're not charging. I wonder if it's because of this hybrid electric vehicle faults. Let's enter this and see. Let me search these codes. All right, so I'm looking on Mitchell. What is it? P1A6F. All right, OEM test procedures. Airbag deployment system circuit high, component locations. Where is that? Shows a picture of it. All right, so one is the BMS ECU. It's right there. And two is the ACU which is on top of the high voltage battery, I'm guessing. All right, so the thing is behind this cover, they want me to pull it off, I don't know. I wanna first check this fuse inside of here because this connects it both and there's a fuse in here that is supposed to, I don't know, I'm not sure if you could change it or you need a new plug, but I wanna check it.
see that clip right there. And a clip right there. Put this on ohms. Okay. when I just go straight in. And we got nothing. So, this fuse is blown right here. Take this apart, how does this work? Yeah, it looks like this comes out. There we go. Right here is a 125 amp fuse. Now he was saying something about a TSB for this fuse. That's clearly blown. See that? This fuse is clearly blown. Um, all right, so I don't know if it's gonna fix all our problems. I think the TSP said to upgrade this to a bigger one. I'm gonna go straight to the shop owner. All right, here's the problem. He said he checked this and it was not blown. I got the car to start. And he's saying that it can't start with this out, which makes sense. So, let's see. Okay, so it doesn't start, so let's put this back in. Let me put the cover back on. All right, so now I'm gonna plug this in. Okay. Now, I know that fuse is blown, but I wanna see if I can start the car at least. Hmm. Let me go see if there's any new codes. All right, so now I have this code, high voltage battery pre-charging fault, which he had initially, and that's why he checked the fuse and he said it was good because the TSB is, to, is saying to update this fuse. So the problem is I didn't have this and the car started and the fuse blew. The question is, we probably have two issues. I really want to get another fuse for that just temporarily and see if it's charging. See, I still have the airbag deployment signal circuit high. So that's not stopping it. I didn't realize that, but then it actually didn't start. Not that it just wasn't charging. Here, it just wasn't charging, but now it won't start because now that's blown. It must have blew when I got it to start. All right, here's the TSB that he was talking about. So it says it has, does it need to have the first one? P1B25, does it even have that? Oh, it does. P1B25, high voltage battery path fault. That's a history code. And P1B77, now it says when the dressing concern related to the 2011 2016 model year optimal hybrid, high voltage warning light on and KDS Texas primary DTC P1B25 and secondary P1B77. Then the 125 amp high voltage battery fuse, if not yet replaced with a newer 150 amp, should be inspected for an intermittent and or open condition. You see it says intermittent, so it doesn't mean it blew when I started it. It means it's an intermittent fuse connection. So let me get my multimeter and let's take it out. I want to measure it while I tap it like it says. Here's this fuse. 
it says here how do you measure the resistance while tapping on the fuse less than whatever one ohm resistance so now i want to see if it's like semi attached that would explain everything so i'm going to tap it All right, so now it's fully blown. But I wonder if when he tested it, it was just intermittently, and now it fully blew. All right, well, that makes me feel better because it says that it's intermittent, that this, the red label fuse, the 125 amp, has to be replaced with a 150. So I'm gonna have to see where we get this fuse from. All right, is this it? Yeah, this is the 150 amp fuse. Key genuine parts. Okay, great. I think I'm gonna order one, or probably gonna order two, just in case it blows. Um, and there's another issue, and then I guess we'll bring you back. All right, thanks for watching. All right, I just wanted to do another car. I'm back here. It's like an hour later. I came to get my scan tool that I left there. And the car starts. So you see clearly there's an intermittent issue. This is crazy. The car is running right now. The, the battery light's not on. I want to stop it right now. I want to check this fuse. And I'm assuming right now it will show that it's good. This is really crazy. I'm trying to be gentle with it so I don't shake it. Okay. Let's go on the ohms. There you go. 0.4 ohms. That is crazy. All right, this is an intermittent bad fuse. If right now it's intermittent and that's why I got the start, it didn't blow, it's just intermittent. I'm gonna tap it. See it's jumping around. It could be I'm losing contacts. So let me open it up. Alright, let's open it up and then let's go here. It's already open. Just from shaking it around, trying to get it. My multimeter still works. And it's open. That is nuts. That is crazy. So this thing intermittently gets open. I guess it's not just a, a blade in the middle. I have no idea how this thing works. It's up to 450 volts. So it's not like the regular 32 volt fuses that we use all over cars. But yeah. Uh, all right, here we go. We're good now. So that, we were good, and now we're not good. All right, that's confirmed. That's 100% the diagnosis. This fuse is bad. We're gonna upgrade it to the 125, and we should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching.